YouTube. I said YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another Fantasy Good Sports video, guys. And today's video is going to be on Kyler Murray will be a fantasy football star in 2021. Yes, I said it, guys. Kyler Murray will be a fantasy football star in 2021. So, guys, let me give you some test measurables. I said test measurables. So, check this out. I'm going to give you four quarterback names. Peyton Manning, Big Ben, Lamar Jackson, and Russell Wilson. Russell, last name Wilson. Kyler Murray outperformed him in his first two years, guys. I said what I said. Kyler Murray outperformed those four quarterbacks that I just named in the first two years of their careers. So, guys, Kyler Murray is going to be a fantasy football star, along with a couple other quarterbacks. Like yesterday, I did a video on Justin Herbert. I love Justin Herbert. But I love Kyler Murray, too. It's enough for, like, five guys. It's five quarterbacks that you got to get this year. I'm talking about drafting them in the late first round and definitely in the second. Now, I'm not going to take them number one overall, but it depends on what your, what your what values in your fantasy. You know, some people in ESPN, some people do, like, different types of draft. You might have two quarterback systems. So those quarterbacks are premiums. When you got two quarterbacks, as far as you can start in your fantasy league, then yes. So guys, you draft these guys in the first round. So guys, most of these quarterbacks are scrambling quarterbacks, but it can be a hybrid guy. Like, you know, um, like a Justin Herbert where he's a pocket presser. But this video is not on Justin Herbert today. This video is on Kyla Mary. Yes, I said it, guys. Kyla Mary. So guys, let me get started. Let me give you some breakdown. In 2019, year before last, Kyler Murray had a 64 completion percentage. He also threw for 3,722 yards with 20 TDs. 20 TDs as a rookie? That's pretty good. So check this out. I got some more stuff for you. He also, guys, had um, 12 interceptions. 12 interceptions. That's pretty good. He's, he has to put the ball out in harm's way, guys, to, un to understand the NFL game. That's why you don't, like, you want your rookie quarterback to throw some picks because he got to learn what he can do and can't do in the NFL game. The game is a lot faster, so you have to give him that growth period, right? So he had 12 interceptions. He had a QBR, which I love. That's one of my favorite stats as far as judging a quarterback because it, it accumulates everything, rushing, passing, first downs, pocket presence, all of it, guys. Great stat. And he had a 57 QBR as a rookie. That's not great, but it's not terrible as a rookie. It's actually pretty good as a rookie. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you start all games. And Colin Mary started every single game as a rookie, guys. Uh, he also beat San Francisco. I just want to throw that in there. If you beat San Francisco that went to the Super Bowl with that defense with uh, Richard Sherman out there, with Nick Bosa, and all those guys coming off the edge, that's pretty doggone good, guys. So, listen, he was sacked 48 times. That's a lot. That's the thing that he needed to work on. There was too many sacks, right? But like I said, you know, Peyton Manning was sacked a lot as a rookie. There's a lot of these guys were sacked a lot as a rookie, guys, So because you, you got to get used to the pocket presence and the speed of the NFL. But... This is what his game was as a rookie, though. This is what it, he, his rushing ability. He had 93 rushes for 544 yards with four TDs. Okay, this guy's an athletic guy. He's, you know, he's kind of hybridish. I use that word a lot. Well, for, for certain guys. That's what the NFL is going to, to hybrids. Guys that can do a little bit of everything, not one-dimensional guys. Same thing in the NBA, but that's, that's another video. So, let's get on to 2020. And 2020, guys... He had a 67 completion percentage. Remember, his rookie year, it was 64. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's some growth. That's what you're looking for. He's like, okay. So, and I'm going to get on about what happened with J.J. Watt. Because J.J. Watt know this just as much as I do. J.J. Watt ain't a fool. Yes, oh, he went for the money. Hey, you went for the money. Okay. All right. That's what you... Remember that when they 8-1, and one, talk about money. Don't talk about their, their record. Don't talk about J.J. Watt performing on a good team. I don't want to hear that now. 
So guys, look, hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think. If you think Arizona was going to be a good team next year, if you think J.J. Watt made the right decision by saying that Kyler Murray was the reason why he went there, not just the money, hit, let me know in the comment section, guys. But look, I'm going to go on. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because trust me, this is cutting edge stuff right here, and this is a cutting edge channel. Fantasy Good Sports right there. Okay, so check this out, guys. He had 3,971 yards, almost 4,000. The year before, guys, he had 3,722. Uh-oh. That's growth. That's growth. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's get to the TDs. Remember, 2019 as a rookie. I keep going back to the rookie year. This is a comparison chart. He had 20 TDs. And then 2020, guys, which was last year, 26. Uh-oh. 26. Now, he that's growth. That's what you want to see. He was like, okay, we made the right pick. We picked this guy number one overall. I want to see some growth. There you go right there for you. Now, listen, the interceptions was the same. He had 12 picks his first year, 12 picks the next year. I'm fine with that. that that's, that's, that's good. Actually, I think that number's going to go down this year. Uh, but it, it's still, like I said, 12 picks is okay. With 26 TDs, I'm okay with that. And he got hurt too, guys. He, I think his numbers would have been better. He could have probably threw for, I say, 10 more TDs. But the last uh, couple of weeks that when he got hurt, he was having like one TD a game. Not even some of them, he didn't even have a TD because his shoulder was messed up. And I think he's going to learn more how to protect yourself a little bit more. And he's going to still be rushing the ball. But listen, let me finish my stat comparison. So his QBR now. This is the biggest jump. That's why you know, like, QBI, QBR takes accumulation of everything. He went from 57 as a rookie to 68, guys. 68. So that's what you want. 68 QB, like, that's QBR. That's pretty good for the growth from first year to second year. I love that. So, guys, and you remember I said he, needed, he got sacked a lot as a rookie. He was holding on to the ball trying to make plays, adjusting to the speed. He went from 48 sacks as a rookie to 27 with a below average offensive line. Yes, I said it, a below average offensive line. So, guys, this offensive line is going to get better. They've been making some moves. So, next year, this which is this year, I'm sorry, not next year, but this year in 2021, this offensive line is going to even be even better. I said what I said, guys. This offensive line is going to even be even better. Guys, look, subscribe to this channel now. This is cutting edge stuff. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video now. So we can get this video out in the algorithm now because I want all my subscribers, guys. We, listen, we're going to win our fantasy leagues this year. I promise you because this is cutting edge stuff. I'm going to tell you when to take quarterbacks and, and do the zero RB type draft strategy. But look, let me get on for it, guys. So he had 133 rushes his second year compared to 93. So they picked it up. back. They let him rush a little bit more. Because he had 819 yards. He almost had a thousand. He almost had a thousand. Almost a thousand yards rushing. So, guys, and 11 TDs. That's why that team was they were, they was booming early. Because Kyler Murray, you would think Kenyon Drake. Everybody was like, oh, I like Kenyon Drake. Oh, uh, I'm getting Chase Edmonds. No, it's Kyler. Kyler. Kyler was the one who was keeping it and get, hitting them edges. Touchdown. Arizona. I'm telling you, Kyler, is the, it was Kyler. So, even more this year, he's young. I know, oh, he can't take the hit. He just got to get smart. He can take the hits around the red zone to score the touchdown. He can't be taking big hits in the open field trying to make everybody. He need to get down. Get your eight, nine yards. Get down. Get your eight, nine. Oh, boom. Okay, I can shoot out for 60 on this one. So he got to learn it, and he's going to get more accumulated with that, guys, because he's young. So, guys, and plus, Cliff Kingsbury is one of the best OCs in the game. I said what I said. I love Cliff Kingsbury. Listen, Cliff's record was like below 500. But his offenses was the best ever since he's been the OC anywhere from college to pros. And listen, guys, and I've been telling you, this is Patreon stuff. Offensive coordinators coming out of college is the best for the NFL right now. I said what I said. Forget that double tight eye formation unless you got Derrick Henry. And you got Derrick Henry, you, you do that. But Derrick Henry could play. He could be bail counter and a shotgun and a pistol and you run it to him 30 times. But the so, guys, the scheme is about to change. This double tight, old school, cow, like I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan right there. And that's what we did with Emmitt Smith. We line up in double tight, our formation, and beat you and just play a class football. But that takes a, a, a top-of-the-line team. And that you don't always have a top-of-the-line team. How you think New England won a lot of those games from back at, like, for the, like those six Super Bowls that Tom Brady run? They didn't have the best team. Maybe three of those teams were really, really good. But the rest of them were guys was like average. I said what I said. That's why Trent Brown went and got a deal somewhere else. I'm about to get cut because – you got to know how to use when you got weak offensive line. You got to know how to play call. And Cliff can do that. He's know how to put 
uh, collar in the right places. And that's why they got Cliff. I said what I said, guys. That's why they got Cliff, because they know. It was like, listen, we don't care about this coach or that coach, that old school coach or this coach. We want somebody who's going to be able to groom Collar into what we need. That way, our franchise will be going up. And listen, guys, fantasy players are like draft stocks. I said what I said. It's like Bitcoin. It's like Bitcoin. So when you see something going that, like I don't know, stats, some comparison stats I've been giving you the last two years, you better buy into it. You got to buy into this stock because listen, what? Look, oh, the Cliff Kingsbury is like the uh ma the manager. He's the oh, CEO, and he everywhere he's going, yeah, it, they might not have been the number one, but their numbers of sales has been the best. So when he's calling plays, their quarterback numbers are going like this, guys. And so I believe this team and the defense is getting better. Isaiah Simmons picked it up in the end of the year. But look, we ain't talking about Isaiah Simmons. I just want to give you some context of what this team going to do and how they're going to compliment uh, Kyle Mary with everything, guys. So look, check this out. D-Hop, which is there. We know with D-Hop, he caught the, the Hail Mary end of the, uh, end of the game type thing. We was like, oh, this is amazing. Never seen a play like that where the team was down. They get to lose the game. It's two seconds left. Kyle Mary run around, run around, run out. Throw it up, wait up here at D-Hop. You know, that's what D-Hop do. Make that triangle and snag. Snag, TD, game over. They won, right? So, J.J. Watt looking where to go. They offer him some money. He's like, I don't know, man. I can go to Pittsburgh, this, this. and There's a lot of places that he could go. And he said, man, let me call D-Hop because he trusts D-Hop. He loved D-Hop. You know, D-Hop is a hard-working guy. You know what I'm saying? And um, he loved him from uh, Texas. So, he called D-Hop. He said, D-Hop, what's going on? Look, man. Uh, they, they offered me a deal in Arizona. I, I, I see that y'all got some stuff going on. I Call it all right, ain't he? He's like, bro, all right. Listen, bro. He's just as good as Deshaun Watson. You don't think he told you don't think he told JJ that? That's what he told JJ. He was like, listen, bro, uh, Kala's going on that type of level, bro. He was like, mmm, and I, I I can see it. And they went and broke these numbers down to him. That's why he didn't talk about money. He said, no, I went there because of Kala. And I said what I said. Go Google it. He said he went that close to Kyler, and I don't blame him because Kyler trended, and I talked about Kyler last year. Go look at my, guys, go look at all my videos. I don't be playing with my information now. Hold me accountable. Unsubscribe or subscribe if you want to get win. If you want to win, you subscribe to this channel. If you say I'm weak or whatever, unsubscribe, and you're going to be way off. This is going to be one of the best fantasy channels in the whole world. I said what I said now. So, look, check this out. So, he got Christian Kirk. He's evolving fast. Can play punt return, kick return, slot receiver, good. And he's going to probably draft some guys, too, to help with that. So I don't know who they're going to draft or who they're going to pick up in free agent. They could pick up A.J. Green. Who knows? I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, guys. I don't know. So, um, look, guys, compared to um a lot of guys, their first two years, they haven't done what Kyler did, especially with his feet and his accuracy, guys. Like, he's got, like, I'm not saying he's Lamar Jackson, but he's, like, very agile and fast like that. You know, he can make plays you know, a little faster than Russell. Maybe not as poor as Russell, but on that level. And, guys, but he's way more accurate than a lot of those guys. Lamar came th was nowhere on his level. Look how Lamar got better. Like Lamar shot up that and run the MVP. Kyler could be there. I said what I said now. Kyler can be there. So, listen, guys, if you like this video, make sure you thumbs up this video because this is gas. And guys, also subscribe to this channel because this channel about to grow. It's about to boom. I'm telling you now. Remember that I said this now. So guys, listen, I'm not going to hold you up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video. God, God bless, guys. See you later.